So hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today we will be fusing the ultimate persona of the Emperor Arcana known as Odin. And this is the build that I have for him. We have Thunder Rain, Mazeodyne, Concentrate, Elect Camp, Elect Boost, Shock Boost, Drain Wind and Spellmaster. Um, it is a super beast of an electrical infinity uh, persona. Especially considering that he can learn Thunder Rain which deals severe electric damage. So you have your heavy skills which are your dying skills and then you have the one above which is your severe skills and odin is one who can learn the electric severe skill so this guy is an absolute beast um and pretty much will leave anything um you know that he basically hits with on the rain or mizzidine will pretty much be just absolutely annihilated or shocked um drainwood shows up his weakness because he's weak to wind i thought i'll just chuck the drain in but you can always do resist um as a bare minimum um, and then of course Spellmaster. So Thunder Rain does cost a lot of SP, um, but now with Spellmaster, it only costs 23. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. So um, this build is uh, super, super good uh, in the late game, um, especially just because of the, the, the potential that it has. And it also has Concentrate on himself as well with Spellmaster. So you don't specifically need a buffing persona. He is pretty much just all in one. Um, and I'll be basically showing you via the Fusion Recipe Generator through the fusion calculator link in the description below on how to generate odin um and yeah we'll be going for there um pretty much how to create this beast um but before uh, we get into it definitely leave a like and subscribe if you're enjoying these persona fusion guides i will have a lot a lot more i plan to do thanatos sabelle next i already have a loki one already done up or already uploaded by the time that this one gets uploaded um and i'm planning on so many more um to to to, to do so thanks for watching um and we'll get straight into it so uh, basically just like with my loki guide essentially we're just going to be going through the recipe generator for this and essentially all you do is just put in the skills that you want so the skills that i have are thunder rain elect amp concentrate spellmaster elect boost drain wind shock boost and mazeodyne um, again i think you can probably switch out shock boost for something else um, I've seen a few builds where they have, um, what is it called, um, firm stance, I believe it was, where you basically take like half damage. Um, and yeah, like that's definitely pretty good as well. Um, but I mean, I'm just going to be playing with Yukari the entire time, so I'm not too worried about my HP. Um, and plus, when you get into the later stages of the game as well, um, if something's going to kill you, something's most likely just going to kill you. So um, yeah, uh, but by all means, you can definitely get rid of shock boost for the firm stance or... You know, you can probably get rid of something else for, for Firm Stance or maybe even Mazeodyne. So the reason why I have Mazeodyne in this build is purely because Thunder Rain is um, a single target ability and I still need um, Mazeodyne in case I need that multi-target ability. Uh, but yeah, Shock Boost, Mazeodyne, you can sort that out for whatever you want, but I'm preferring to use uh, Mazeodyne. So basically I've put in all my skills um, as before. So all you do is you can just put in exactly what you sort of want um for your like move set um and then you know you can select the, the the element which is you know your passive skills your support skills or your healing skills and then you just put in the move and then you put in the ingredient the ingredient will have the lowest possible persona that can actually learn that specific ability um and then saying that this number here is the um, persona level that it will actually come in through fusion um but down here in the chain blocks, it will tell you what level you need to get that specific persona to in order to learn um, the, the ability. But for example, in this case with Barong, um, you can see that Elect Boost is an innate ability for Barong. Uh, same with Shock Boost for Thunderbird. However, Drain Wind is an ability that Lilith does learn at 72. So just keep in mind that this down here is what level the persona has learned the ability. This level here is what level that the persona actually comes in, the lowest level that it comes in. So in this case, um, this fusion was a bit annoying um, because I have the DLC personas. So don't forget, if you do have DLC personas, go into your fusion settings and switch them all on. It'll make it a lot easier for yourself to in order to do. Um, so there's a multitude of different ways of doing it. I didn't want to fuse any DLC personas because eventually with the DLC personas, you actually have to fuse it into a very high level persona um, I believe you had to fuse it with Hellel 
Um, at least that's what the generator was telling me. I had to fuse it with Hallel in order to actually get this build for Odin. So that's another thing with the recipe generator is that you can actually just switch out the ingredients to see what you can get. So for example, if I switch to a Mothman, you can see the left chain is here and the right chain is here. However, this chain actually doesn't work because Mothman fused with Dekarabia doesn't produce Kikurahime. It actually produces a nut, which is a DLC persona. And then that obviously breaks it down because you can't fuse a nut with Lilith in order to get Odin. So that's just something to keep in mind. Um, and then if you do switch to DLC personas with Mothman, um, this will eventually become the, like the left chain becomes something ridiculous. Like you need to fuse a Mothman with like Hellel or something. Um, so yeah, just something to keep in mind. But I think Barong is okay. Um, the caveat with this is that it doesn't show you the costing. So whenever you are fusing high level personas and doing persona builds, just make sure you have a lot of money. I do have a money and EXP farming guide in the description. I have made one on my channel. Definitely go check it out. It's definitely worth your time. But yeah, so we're just going to be building the Odin today. So essentially, we're going to be using a Thunderbird with Shock Boost uh, fused into Succubus to Mott and then Mott with Suzaku into Lilith and then leveling Lilith up to 72 for Drained Wind because Odin is weak to wind. So again, through my fusion guide, I go through how to show weaknesses. So Odin is weak to wind. You can check that by going and uh, list of personas and checking Odin. Um, and I elected for Drain Wind uh, for this particular one, but Resist Wind or even Null Wind will work just fine. But, you know, Drain Wind is pretty good. Um, and there's other personas that require sort of Drain Wind as well. So I figured if it's not too complicated to get, that's what I'm going to do. So in this case, it's not too complicated to get. So that's what I'm going to do. Um, so that's the left chain and the right chain is going to be Barong with uh, Pixie into Shikyoji and Shikyoji with Clotho into Kikurihime. Then all that combined. Um, essentially makes Kikurihime or Lilith into Drain Wind Odin. So we're just going to be quickly switching over to the Velvet Room and we're going to be fusing this. All right, so I actually went through all that fusion stuff and then I realized it didn't actually work. So I ended up forgetting that I didn't switch on the DLC personas. So this is why what I mean by you need to make sure you switch on the DLC personas if you have the DLC personas. So in this case, the left chain doesn't uh, change, but the right change is Barong with Loa into Neveros. And then Neveros with Dekarabia into Kikurihime. And then Kikurihime with Lilith into Odin. So keep that in mind. So first of all, we need a Thunderbird with Succubus. So let us do this into Mott. And then what we want to do is make sure we inherit Shock Boost. Cool, so now that we have the Mott, we want to fuse it with a Suzaku. Please choose the first. This one is somewhat beneath you. What do you wish to inherit? Then make sure you inherit the shock boost and then everything else doesn't really matter. And then we're just gonna have to level this up. To, uh, 72 um, in order to get drain wind so that's the left chain done so for the right chain we are going to be needing a barong um, as well as a lower into Neveros. so for the right chain we have a barong which needs to be fused with lower to get Neveros. and then when we get Neveros, we need to fuse it with dekarabia to get kikuri hime and then finally kikuri hime with lilith with drain wind and we get um odin so remember, just make sure you <laughs> select the elect boost here. Isn't it? Cool, so we got Neberos, and then all we need to do is fuse Neberos with Dekarabia to get Kikurihime. Again, we want to make sure we get this elect boost. Now, finally, with Kikurihime, uh, prevent <laughs> skill change there. Uh, Kikurihime with Lilith, and we get Odin himself, the ultimate persona of the Emperor Arcana. So, we want to make sure that we get Shock Boost, Elect Boost, 
And then I think that's it. I'm just going to go multi time. Oh, sorry. And drain wind. I nearly forgot drain wind. So make sure you get those ones. There you have it. My name is Odin. O valiant one with my spear shall wage war on thine enemies and lead thee to battle. So I think Odin's design is pretty sick, which is partly the reason why I wanted it. Um, even though I do have the six elements, having the severe version of the uh, elemental affinities is pretty good. So we got Elec, oh, Elec Amp, so get rid of multi-target boost. And we got Concentrate, so get rid of Amara Kunda. And we got Spell Master, so get rid of Primal Force. And there we go. What a beast. Odin himself. Ooh, Mazeo Dye can transform. Uh, I'll prevent that. Because that's not what we want. <laughs> and there you go, Odin. Um, so yeah, that's the Odin build. Um, and that's how you fuse Odin. So yeah, once again, if you enjoyed the video, uh, definitely leave a like uh, and subscribe. It definitely helps out the channel a lot. Um, I will be doing more of these fusion guides. So thanks for watching everyone, and I'll catch you in the next guide.